Hi everyone, welcome back to E.W Legal Series. Today's theme is going to be on COVID-19 and its impact on the legal industry. So generally the court and law firms have seen the same sort of trends in its impacts, both positive and negative currently and for the future. In terms of remote working, which has been the resort for many firms and uh, the court system because of COVID-19. It's increased uh, the positive impact for the future of agile working, which of course does benefit minorities, um, especially like mature students who have children and, and have to accommodate those as well as trying to focus on their careers. It's also increase people's use of uh, technology so a lot of people aren't familiar with systems online systems such as zoom um, and excel and just remote working systems and communication online so it's massively improved that and defined a wider skill set which could definitely have a good impact on the future because in our modern society that's the way the online world is moving um, and people need to start learning these skills so it's great for that. So in terms of remote working for both the court and the law firms, there's been a trend of productivity and getting a lot more work done. There's less external distractions such as people at work and you know people you bump into. Um, the online system anyway has always seen a steady, a steady stream of communication through things like emails and um, video calls and remote working was already a thing before the situation however I think it's just been given a little bit of a push in general because technology I feel like this is the first big um, push towards technological advancement anyways so remote, remote working means that um, you can forget about the travel expenses and going from court to court which is very time consuming which means it's productive in the sense that a lot more work is, is getting done which is great for the legal system in general because often it's seen that the legal system is under resourced but overburdened they're getting a lot more work done which means they're making a lot more money so I feel like in general the impact of this could have it means that it's just great because it can provide more agile working uh, for people. It means that it can have the potential impact that people um, may actually go into companies that they like rather than go into workspaces where they feel like they have to just because of um, living circumstances. And then it's saving com companies potential millions of pounds each year through things like travel expenses and various other expenses like delays in the court system however there are negatives to the situation generally um, it has ruined a lot of people's routines it can definitely have a negative impact on people's mental health just because you know people have a sense of purpose in a routine they get up they may go to gym you know they have a boost for the day however this sets people back in their routine and you know it sort of takes away that element of structure I guess in that sense although one of the great positives which I've seen many people doing I'm not too, too sure about um, legal uh, professionals but a lot of people because we've seen a lot of uh, great weather recently have been sitting outside and doing their work which I mean the sun is great um, for boosting um, happiness and you know it's, it's great in that sense another negative is that it could definitely have an impact on talking specifically court system here on jury trials now cases which just require a judge it's fine to do remotely however whether you're familiar with this or not watching this video um, a lot of what you see on Netflix videos for example on court dramas um, a jury is so essential and, and there would be real difficulties if that would be to uh, if that was to be moved onto an online platform just because physical presence um, for clarity and um, 
for emotions and to see the story undevelop of the case is really important for the jury to hear. Um, and there could be real bias with uh, online remote working um, because just because you know the jury have to retire and be in a room and it's a lot more secure and things are a lot more structured in the court whereas there's always going to be that element of uncertainty if that was to be moved online you know there'll be too many people want you know there's going to be technological issues for jurors um, a number an abundance of issues that that could occur in terms of that however generally we've seen the same positive impacts for barristers to um, solicitors in that it has inc it has definitely helped the workload because often barristers and solicitors travel one place to another to meet clients um, and court hearings and this means you know like I said before increasing agile working remote working which means they can literally skype um, or, or video chat their client for however long they want however long they need without thinking too much about external circumstances such as um, you know having to move on to the next case straight away not having time to do this you know um, and, and stuff like that it's generally more of a, a more of a relaxed environment I feel um, Another negative, um, specifically speaking about the bar here, is that um, I've been reading um, a lot of things and I've found that those of you who are interested in going to the bar, the Bar Pupillage Committee have com uh, confirmed, sorry not the Pupillage Committee, the Bar Council have confirmed that there is a lot of um, chambers considering scrapping pupillage i think it was like 30 percent something or something like that said that they was considering completely scrapping it that uncertain uncertain 90 percent of chambers said that um with criminal work they won't be able, able to survive without uh, financial support from the government which is you know is a really hard time for pupillage um, students at the moment in guaranteeing tenancy contracts and especially for BPTC students, it's, it's horrible for them as well because of the uncertainty. So what are my tips to staying productive? With this in mind, what I just told you um, about the whole barrister situation, keep an open mind. Um, it's great to have a purpose. It's great if you know what area you want to go into. And if you're certain to that, um, the second tip is to keep um, research into your area, research into the area that you want to go into, find out more about it, um, start having a look at mini, for example, um, with the bar, start having a look at mini pupillages around your area and um, what they require um, so you can take steps to fulfil those requirements. Uh, for, for solicitors on the other hand, um, start looking at training contracts and an LPC um, and where you want to do your LPC and start looking at what firms can interest you uh, depending on your niche or depending on your area, whether you want to be more flexible, you know, start taking these proactive steps, researching is very important. Thirdly, I would say definitely in general research COVID-19 the effect it's had on the legal industry one of my predictions is that instead of uh, for years you know the the focus on interview questions has often seen to be brexit which is of course a modern issue in our society but i think it's getting to that stage where it's getting a bit boring now you know people keep talking about it i feel like even though there are employers who are interested in the law and are working in that area and have to deal with brexit you know if they hear it over and over and over and over and over again it's it's going to be like, oh, like, here we go again. You know, they, I, I feel like times have moved on, you know, focus on another modern issue in that area. Something that, you know, COVID-19 is going to obviously impact the legal industry. So definitely research that because you could be asked it in an interview. And also how you spend your time productively. So on to my fourth tip is during these times it is challenging because you don't know how to spend it. 
um, one of the ways I've spent my time is I've always wanted to create a YouTube channel so this is what I've done I'm also currently working on a blog so for those of you law students or students in general who um, really enjoy writing and really want a platform to express your views WordPress is a great way to start so I'll drop a link down below um, Fifth, fifthly, no, my fifth tip, fifthly, is that even a word? I don't know. Uh, my fifth tip is definitely get LinkedIn. Not just law students, all law students. It's a great platform to utilise your skills, your talents, your, your preferences. It's also a very good shortcut to get in an interview for a job. If you make contacts on there that you've met at uh, legal networking events, you can engage with them more and you can also follow industries and companies to get an idea of, of what their working space is like and whether that's something that you would really enjoy. Um, I'm going to sum up by saying during these challenging times I know it's really hard to, to actually stay productive in that sense but a few of the tips I've followed and have really helped sort of short term rather than long term because everyone needs a break you can't stick to something every single day otherwise you're sort of going to over exhaust your your mind but to do lists uh, these are general pr productivity tips but to do lists are a great way to utilize your time effectively even if it's on your phone or a piece of paper ticking it off just gives you a great sense of gratification that you're going from one step to another and you're getting your tasks done whether it's coursework whether it's your goals um, and don't think when you're working on something like this or a blog that you know it's gonna happen overnight and just like LinkedIn it doesn't happen overnight you know I started LinkedIn in first year had no no idea how to navigate it I didn't know how to get legal in uh, contacts but as the years go on you sort of just it sort of just comes to you, you know you start posting things which you feel that could be relevant you start making contacts you start building yourself a portfolio for personal development um, and, and, then, and in the same way YouTube is a great platform for that as well and it doesn't just have to be legal related the tasks or the projects you're working on but it'd be great if you you have a project that you've been wanting to start for ages whether it's to redecorate your room or to to start looking into something that's completely different you know and not law related and something like a business that you want to work on remotely you know there's loads of websites on online now that are free and help you to build there's so many resources and youtube videos to help with stuff like that so definitely try to use your time wisely i know it's easier said than done but at the moment um a lot of students especially me are not in a routine anymore like we were at university and you know it's very hard to structure your time accordingly because there's going to be some times where you're like you know I don't have to get up and do this whereas we always, always used to think you know we've got lectures the next day we have to get up it's important there's that sort of motivation there where that's not there anymore so I definitely say um, you know try to have a to-do list um, you know try and set alarms push yourself um, something that really has helped me and um, I'll drop it in the um, the end notes for the video is uh, personal training online a lot of youtubers offer this it's YouTube videos that help you to work out um, the one I've been using um, I'm quite into fitness so I'd say it's I can't judge it accurately but I'd say it's sort of beginners to medium depending on your fitness level but definitely give it a try because it definitely gives you a boost for the day so guys those are that's a general overview of how i feel that covid19 could affect the legal industry and my tips for you guys to stay productive during these times so i hope that i really hope that's helped um and if you have enjoyed this video and want updates on further videos then just go and subscribe to my channel i'm going to also drop my linkedin down below so you can connect with me um, and ask uh, me any questions that you may have i'm also going to open um, comments for engagement i'd really like to hear your views especially if you're a law student or a legal professional on how you think that our industry that legal industry could be affected or has already been affected whether that be positive or negative so take care take care guys stay safe and good luck
See you soon.